Dear civil engineers, in this lecture, I'm just going to show that how we'll modify our RC column and how we'll insert that on our model. So to do that, you have to click here, columns, and after that, from here, you have to select RC column and you have to go here by clicking here. Then you will see different types of section are available. Here, different types of section are available. Now, which types of section you need, you can select from here. Okay, so uh, suppose I need a column section like 12 inch into 12 inch. Then I'll just give here the name like 12 into 12, like that. And simply I'll click add. And here, a section will create like 12 into 12 again and if you need to use reduction of column then you can use here for the I mean, reduction of moment of initial I'll just uncheck it and again if you need another column 12 into 15 then you can add width 12 and height 15 and simply click add Again, if you need any circular column, okay, so you can add a circular column. So, what will be the dia of that column here? What will the dia of that column? So, that will be I'll consider uh, 16 inch. Sorry, I'll consider a 16 inch dia column. And here I'll give here R8, 8 inch uh, radius. Okay. And after that, I'll simply click add and I'll close. I'll click close. Okay. After that, which column you want to insert here? You have to select from here. So, first of all, I want to insert 12 into 12 section column and from here where do you want to place actually okay and what will be the height of it do you want to place that in uh, up or in down direction okay in up direction or in down direction so you have to insert that value so suppose i want to insert our column from up to down okay i mean uh, from up to down and here you have to give that height now I'll just go here and from here suppose I'll go in our S32 and our I mean height or depth till our base is 26. So from here I'll consider 26 feet. Okay, I'll consider 26 feet height here and I'll go from I mean top to down. Okay, I'll just go top to down. Then when I'm here after that after giving that value simply press enter and just come here see here we have created a column for 26 feet depth i mean from s2 to base again you can select another column like if you want to select that column and if your height is same or you can change that height then enter and after that come here I mean and give your data here like that okay so that way and again if you want to provide a circular column like that and if your height is same 26 or you can change any height and you can change your height from here then enter Sorry, then just click here, here, like that. You can draw all of that column here as per your requirement, like that. So I'll skip. Then I'll just click here, close. And after that, here I have just created extra. Then I'll select it like that and I'll delete it. Just see here, all of our column here available. In this way, you are able to define your column section and you are able to insert your column so if you just go here like that 
here also this is available and also if you go in base then you will see here in our base okay you will see that this is in different color that means you have created your column perfectly so it will be very clear when we will start creating our model okay when we will start creating our model perfectly then it will be clear to you now i am just giving you the basic concept about that software and about fd tools